introduce our team of adjudicators. Firstly, Mr. Rajan, the panel adjudicator from National Debate Team. Mr. Vincent Lee from Help University. Mrs. Sashita from Hanjam High School. I, Lee Chao Hun, will be the chair for this debate. And Lee Li Chang will be the timekeeper. Just a reminder, all mobile phones must be switched off when the debate is on. Thank you. May I now call the first speaker of the government team to present his case. Time given is eight minutes. The first bell, the first bell will ring after the speaker speaks for one minute, like this. After the first minute, members of opposition team can raise the POI, point of information. After the seven minutes, no more POI will be allowed. The bell will ring once again. And after the speaker has spoken for eight minutes, he or she will have to stop. The bell will ring twice. Now, I would like to invite the first speaker of the government team to present his case. Please begin. Thank you, Captain. A very good morning to the educators and the members of the floor. My name is Benjamin, and I am the first speaker from the government team. And this house strongly believes that hosting the Olympic is a good investment. As the first speaker, I will be stating the definition and giving out the first point, which is economic benefits. My second speaker will be giving out the second and the third point, which is stimulates regeneration of the nation, and the third point is promoting the culture and tradition of the country. Lastly, my third speaker will be summing up all the points and doing rebuttal. Firstly, I would like to define the motion today, which is Hosting the Olympic is a good investment to a financially strong country with good management skills. According to Macmillan Dictionary, hosting is to arrange a special event and provide an area, building, equipment or service needed for guests, especially an official one. What is Olympic? Olympic is a world-leading sports event and it helps once every four years and it can only be participated by the best athlete from different nations. Without further hesitation, let me tell you why hosting the Olympic is a good investment. Now, hosting an Olympic is definitely a good investment and it definitely influences the economic status of the country. What is economic benefits? Economic benefits can be qualified in terms of money generated, such as net income, revenue, and etc. Imagine, if your country is hosting the Olympic Games, there will be millions of tourists going into a country all at once, and the economy will be at its peak. First, I'll talk about accommodation. Hotel industry. The tourists need place to stay, and definitely they will go to the hotel. According to the research from BBC, the hotel, the Stars Hotel accepted about 80,000 guests each day. The Five Stars Hotel had an occup occupancy rate of 81% with an average price of 525 US dollar per room per day. Next, I'll talk about food. You are travelling to another country to spectate the world greatest event, which is the Olympic. For sure, you need to eat. And of course, you have you tried local delight and the local cuisine, which will also boost the economy. Souvenirs. They also buy something to bring along back to their own country. Lastly, they will show visit to nearby attraction. Think about this. The Olympic in Japan will be hosting in 2020. As a Malaysian, you are going to Japan to spectate the world's greatest event, which is the Olympic. You spend, we're assuming that you spend 5,000 to 10,000 ringgit. 
So, are you going? Are you going to only spend this five thousand to ten thousand ringgit just to spectate an Olympic? Wouldn't you go to there and try out the food and visit the nearby attraction? According to the research, visitors who visited London during the Olympic spent averagely 1.3k pound. And this all rounds up to one thing. Visitors spend money in the hosting country. Besides, hosting the Olympic also reinforces the country's image. Once your country's image is built up strong enough, PY. Yes. Um, does one point three k pounds cover the cost of building the infrastructure for the Olympics? One point three k pound. Yes. According to the research, London has gained profit for fifty million. Thank you. Besides, I'll continue with my point. Besides hosting the Olympics, also reinforce the country's image. When your identity is built up strong enough. Companies from other countries will be seeking for opportunity to collaborate with that country, and this directly influences the economy of the of the economy of the country. And according to another research done by BBC, also, ten billion of pound was invested during the Olympic season. Two point five billion is additional inward investment. And 5.9 billion additional sales following. Olympic-related promotions by the Foreign Office and UKTI, TI, and another 1.5 billion is high value from overseas contracts. And according to the research, that the profit can be gained, go and uh, profit can goes up to 40 billion by 2020, which is definitely a good thing. And hosting the Olympic that, uh, can also improve the sports science. By improving the sports science, it actually also benefits the economy of the country. And hosting the Olympic task attracts numerous investment from other countries. Like what I just said, 10 billion of pounds was invested into London during the Olympic season. According to the research, the GDP amount of the country that hosted the Olympic before is increasing. By the increasing of GDP amount, the stock market of the countries also goes up. Again, this all rounds up to one thing. It is economic benefits and tourists visit into your country, they spend money, you have the money and you, every country needs the money to run their country. And that is, that is where the money comes from. It is better for the money to come from outside rather than the citizen from the country spending in their own country. This all rounds up to one thing. Economic benefits for the country. And again, our team strongly believes that hosting the Olympic is a good investment. Thank you. Thank you. The first speaker from government team has spoken for 6 minutes and 48 seconds.